Hey Internet, you got a hobby drifter here back again. These days, there are a ton of different retro gaming books being released in Japan. Everything from perfect guides to specialized one-offs. Just tons and tons of content coming out every couple of weeks. And picking which books to add to your collection can be kind of a chore. Um, I went through and bought a ton of overlap for a while. Fortunately, uh, this series, the uh, Retro Perfect Catalog series by uh, Hiroyuki Maeda, started a couple of years back and has been producing uh, new books every couple of months since then. And for my money, this is the best series going right now. Uh, these are what are called MOOCs. They're about halfway between a regular book and a magazine. They're generally sold in the magazine section of Japanese bookstores but they don't stick around for such a short period of time. Actually, even a few of these that have come out more than a year ago and still we found at larger bookstores. But uh, what are these? Uh, well, as it says on the tin, they are perfect catalogs. Uh, they're these large A4 size, magazine size, uh, nicely uh, side-bound, slip-cased, or not slip-cased, um, dust-jacketed volumes. And it's basically just a catalog of absolutely everything that was released during a specific console's life cycle. Uh, for example, the first one in the series was the uh, Mega Drive Perfect Catalog. It was released to celebrate the uh, 30th anniversary of the Mega Drive in Japan. And I'm just going to flip through a little bit to show you the kind of things that are in most of these books. Uh, you get uh, a few notes, some, some commentary. Uh, then you get a bunch of stuff on the uh, the hardware. Things covering the hardware itself and a bunch of all the different uh, peripherals released. Some of the, the cool uh, FX chips, the lock-on technology here. And it goes through everything. All the, the first-party controllers, the add-on stuff, uh, the modem. Here you got the, the, the Sega CD, the Mega CD. And then you even get some of the rarer stuff, like uh, the Wonder Mega, uh, the other versions of the Wonder Mega, uh, the, the Terra Drive, Mega Jet, the thing that let you play Mega Drive games on the plane, uh, the Laser Active, and even the uh, Ultra Hard to Find CDS GM1. And then it goes through uh, all of the games released by year. So it goes all the way up through uh, 1996, and even has a short section on select games that were released outside of Japan. That's pretty much par for the course for this series. Uh, the most recent one to come out is the uh, Super Famicom uh, Perfect Catalog. It is huge. Uh, covers all 1,200-something games released for the console, uh, including the uh, download-only... Um, kiosk stuff, and uh, the uh, uh, Satella view things. Uh, not all of these are based solely on, on one platform. You got this excellent volume called uh, Early Sega, which covers uh, the uh, SG-1000, SC-3000, SG-1002, the Sega Mark III, the Master System, and the Game Gear. And this is just a, a treasure trove of, of cool Sega stuff. Um, not the easiest thing to collect, uh, especially here. But it goes into, again, pretty much everything you could possibly want. It's got nice, nice visuals on all the hardware. Uh, software mostly includes the um, box art, as well as pictures of the, the different consoles and the cartridges uh, themselves. A uh, big shout out to uh, to this one, which is one of my favorite in the in the series. The uh, Game & Watch Perfect Catalog, which, as, as it says, uh, includes pictures and commentary on every single Nintendo Game & Watch game. But what makes this one so interesting is that the uh, the pictures are actual size. So, all of these things include not only the uh, 
full-size pictures, but also scans of the, the playing manual, uh, the closed cover side, and the uh, original box art for everything released for the uh, Nintendo uh, Game & Watch series. Uh, each one of these books uh, costs about 25 US dollars. They're between uh, 2,000 and 2,500 yen, uh, plus tax. You can get them on Amazon Japan. I will include a link in the uh, description. This is just, uh, again, for my money, this is the, the best series of, of books on Japanese retro games that has been released to date. I'm very surprised that there has not been a Famicom uh, volume released yet, but I'm assuming it's just a matter of time. Um, I'm, I'm expecting stuff for the uh, Sega Dreamcast and the Sega Saturn to be released in the not-too-distant future. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we've also got the uh, Nintendo 64 Perfect Catalog, PC Engine, Game Boy, uh, and Game Boy Advance. So they are going pretty deep into the uh, uh, mainstream collector stuff, along with stuff like uh, early Sega and the uh, Game & Watch. So let me know what you think. If you're picking these up, let me know if uh, you're enjoying them as much as I am. If you know of a different series uh, released in Japan or elsewhere that you think maybe uh, I should be adding to my, my bookshelf, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I've been the Hobby Drifter. Take care and happy hobbying.